The circular pattern tool can be used to pattern features, faces, or bodies radially about an axis, a circular edge, a cylindrical face, or a straight edge. So going into the circular pattern tool, I first have to select my parameters. In this case, we can choose this circular edge or the face there. And I'm going to choose out a feature to pattern. And I'll go ahead and set the number of instances to 7. And you may have noticed that I switched from the full preview to the partial preview. The reason for that is the default is generally the partial preview. And this will show you mostly what the pattern will look like. But the full preview will show you if the feature will actually complete or not. So in this case, if I keep it in partial preview and uncheck the geometry pattern, it's going to keep the same preview. But if I change this to full preview, you'll notice that the depth of this cut now changes. The reason for this is the original extruded cut uses a up to next end condition. So the cut in the pattern is automatically going to look for the next face, which is the end of this flat face. So if we click OK, we can see that it cuts through on each face. And if we go back into the pattern and choose the geometry pattern option, we can see that it retains the same geometry throughout. So this area where it has a larger thickness only gets that same geometry cut out. The next option in the circular pattern is the faces to pattern. And this is an option that's not used very frequently, but it can be pretty useful in the right occasion. So first for the parameters, I'm going to choose a axis. And I'm going to do that by going into View and choosing Temporary Axes. And what this does is anywhere there's a circular edge or a circular face, it automatically has a axis that it refers to. And these are considered temporary axes because they're shown only in the background. So I can go ahead and select that axis. For my faces to pattern, I'm going to choose these five faces. And if I switch to partial preview, you can see what it would look like if the feature didn't fail. But in this case, the geometry has to be the same along this border for this pattern to function. So if I turn off the equal spacing, and go into the full preview. And I'll just choose four instances here. We can increase the angle until that actually completes. And then if I push this into the area that has the larger thickness, it's going to fail. And the reason for this is these faces that cut out this section here have two blank faces on both sides. And in this case, since we have the larger thickness, it doesn't know how to create that blank face on the back side, so it fails the feature. If I go ahead and click OK, you can see that it works in the same way as the feature pattern. And we can go ahead and just create one more pattern here from our whole wizard hole. So I'll go back into view and turn off the temporary axes and go into the circular pattern once again. And for the parameters, I'll just choose this outside face. And we can go ahead and choose out that hole. We'll set this to equal spacing. And let's set this as 12 holes. 
And we also have the option of using instances to skip. And we could remove out several of these holes if we like. Lastly, we will select that geometry pattern option because the geometry is going to remain the same throughout. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And that'll finish that pattern.